Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? I hope you are all having an amazing day. It is Sunday and welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Now today we're going to be talking about oils and you know that is like one of my favorite topics. We are going to be talking about at least a seven oils. If you're new to the channel, you know, sometimes we say seven, but we do more than seven. So how we're going to do this today? What we're going to do, we're going to talk about the oils first. We're going to talk about all the vitamins and minerals and the benefit of these oils to the skin. And then we're going to compare and we're going to group the oils in terms of skin type. So I'm going to share with you oils for dry skin, oils for oily skin, oils for normal skin. And we're also going to group them in terms of whether or not they are anti-aging, whether or not they are good for dark spots and blemishes and so on and so forth. So if you are here and you want to learn a little bit more about special facial oils then get your pen and paper ready because we are here to tell you exactly how to use these oils and some of these unusual oils that you might not be aware of that is good for the skin so that is our topic today how are you how are you doing out there I am doing fine I wasn't all that you know one and dread this week but i made it true and it's a new week i'm healthy i have life i have health i have strength and i'm working on the world so guys welcome 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 so let me do the regular shout out if you're new here welcome feel free to comment feel free to talk about oils that you are using on your skin also feel free to give the video a thumbs up and support the channel by watching our commercial and also guys if you want to be more than just a subscriber and you want to be a part of the family you want to be a member of the channel you can click on the join button below and it will take you to a page where you can choose your tiers and decide how to become a member we also have merchandise guys most of the time the merchandise are right here at the side or below the video feel free to go in our shop browse around support the channel by purchasing merchandise so with that out of the way we we have our moderator today Lucy and her um, handle is in blue and it have a little spanner what Lucy does for the live chat is to weed out all of the unnecessary I'm using the word unnecessary but it's not really unnecessary you know just comments that might not be appropriate for the chat so guys this is live and we have all different kinds of people watching our live chat so keep it clean so that we can keep our chat going so guys welcome 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 Pauline C how are you doing love you to the moons and back we have Rita Holmes I Rita I miss you guys so much I'm gonna start you know getting back into the groove of things but as you all know I live in New York City and a lot has been going on so things are not you know as normal as it should be but we're getting there and I'm so happy that you guys tend to just on on even when I don't go in the comments and you know respond and give you your shout out I guess a lot of you know what is going on and you are so supportive and I'm so grateful for you all our live chat have been running now for roughly three years every Sunday and so far so good you're here some of you are here from day one and you're still here supporting the chat channel so facial oils all right um magdalene how are you doing i hope you are how i hope you had a great week say hello to your daughter for me and we also have um carlene malcolm i think it's the first time i'm seeing you on the channel welcome if you're a first timer comment so that we could give you your shout out and we can also give you your welcome if you have a question and any facial oil feel free to ask your question hello jason how are you I haven't seen and talked to you guys karen mcdowell how are you doing eddie moore welcome and we have lucky abba first time i'm seeing you on the channel i'm allergic to one shelf anti-aging product what can i use and you're right here so just hang on in there and we are gonna take you to gina chowers how are you makeup forever how are you and we also have elizabeth lasosa welcome welcome maya maya marson how are you and we also have um 
Deborah um, Austin, um, Chichi, love your top. Thank you so much. It's a top. Oh, I think I bought this somewhere in the French Riviera. Went there, run out of clothes, jump in a store, and I got this little top. So, yes. Anyway, let's move on. Um, um, Bethany, um, um, hello from Denmark. How are you doing? Penelope Williams, first time. Welcome to the chat. Goldie, welcome to the chat. A first time. Um, some, Sophia Russell, welcome, welcome, welcome. And we also have um, um, Reese Hef. Happy Sunday. Love your channel. I need all the oils combination. All right. So we are going to go on and we're going to move on. What should I do? Should I talk about the popular oils first? I think I'll talk about the popular oils that most of you are comfortable with and know about. And then in the end, I will pull out some oils that some of you might not be you know aware of that they are good for the skin so i'm going to talk, start off with vitamin e i really think i should start off with vitamin e and the reason why is because it is one oil that you all need to have in your oil collection and the reason for that is that it is extremely versatile and you can use it in all your homemade products you can use it on your skin directly and it is just amazing for not only your face and neck but your entire body you can also choose to add a little extra vitamin e oil to any of your favorite skin moisturizer body lotion you name it amazing and not only that when you make your homemade remedies this is one oil that if you use it in it it will help to preserve the oil giving you a day or two extra so i normally suggest seven days the vitamin e oil will help the product to last you at least 10 days so two to three days more now why vitamin e vitamin e will have to hydrate the skin it also will have to lock the moisture in the skin and when that happens, what will what will you will notice on your face is that it will have a very plump appearance a very soft appearance but without wrinkles and fine lines because the vitamin e oil also have to smooth wrinkles and fine lines when it comes on to vitamin Vitamin E guys you got to know that they are different in grades okay so you might go somewhere and you see a vitamin E oil let's say for $10 you go somewhere else and it is for 20 and you might be thinking this person is really robbing because I could find vitamin E oil for $10 what you really need to take a note of and keep focus on is the amount of IU that is in the vitamin E oil I like a strong vitamin E oil and this one I'm using I'm not gonna say the brand because you know this is not a sponsored video all these oils are oils that I use personally for myself and I use my own money to buy it so don't ask about brands guys now this is 28,000 IU and that means that this is a thicker form of a vitamin E oil now if you go to 5,000 IU the vitamin E oil is gonna be very 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 light I suggest that if you're not comfortable or you're not familiar with vitamin e oil to start with a lower iu so that you can use it freely when i'm using 28,000 iu i might use two to three drops if you're using a 5,000 iu then you need like a teaspoon also a 5,000 iu you can use directly on the skin because it is a lighter oil when it comes on to that 28,000 iu on above you need to mix it with a carrot oil however guys vitamin e oil is good now what one more thing I need to talk about before I continue with the oils most oils will not irritate the skin most oil will not irritate your skin it's even if you have sensitive skin it's one percent in a million that you're gonna find someone that the oil irritate the skin oils are amazing for the skin and we use oil a lot on the skin because it is like the topper for all of your beauty products if you use a facial toner a facial serum and a facial moisturizer use an oil and top of that is gonna lock everything up and it's gonna make your products work better now for me I like to use just oil on my skin so I use a toner and I lather on the facial oils on my skin and they do wonders now not all oils 
are the same. All contains different kinds of vitamins and minerals. Some are stronger than some. Some contain more vitamin A, some have more vitamin E, some have more vitamin C. And that is what we're doing today. We're picking out this that I'm sharing with you is vitamin E directly. So this is not a oil that contain vitamin E, but vitamin E itself. But we'll talk a little bit more in details if you want to know. I know when I get into the technical part some of you guys don't really like that so let's not talk about that you know what make it up and all of that but just take it for what it is that this is pure vitamin e oil and that's one oil that you need to have later on we're going to talk about the other oils and what is good for dry skin this one here vitamin e oil is good for all skin type okay Ely, how are you doing dear chichi for very dry here what oil conditioner mask is best and we're going to talk about that but definitely um castor oil i always mention castor oil olive oil is good for your hair if it's dry but i'm going to give you a little trick about how you can get rid of your dry hair remind me before the show is over if you use vitamin e oil on the skin guys comment 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 now guys we are going to move on to Another oil that I personally use a lot, like I go to bottles and bottles of these, and this is rosehip oil, the good old rosehip oil. If you're just joining, we're talking about facial oils. We just talk about vitamin E oil, and now we're moving on to rosehip oil. Now, why rosehip oil? What is it so about rosehip oil? Now, let me give you a little quick history about rosehip oil, which a lot of you are confused about. The way they made rosehip oil is not from rose petal and rosehip oil is not rose oil okay rosehip oil is not rose oil and we'll get into that but rosehip oil is actually made from the seeds of the rose plant however it is not from the regular you know common rose that you see on and around you know your garden or so this is from a special kind of a roses that is found way out in the amazon somewhere out there however on my street like down the block i noticed they have some of those little roses that i think is the same roses that make these they are loaded with picker what we call that little thing that will pick you they don't grow really really high they have a lot of seeds in them and that is what they use to make the rosehip oil. They take the seeds from these special roses and make rosehip oil. So don't confuse, don't go and buy rose oil and thinking that you're buying rosehip oil totally totally different so if you are not familiar you can go if you want to learn more about how they make the rosehip oil you can go and research it when you're done but i just give you just like the little base about how it produced stay with me guys because when i talk about this thing you don't want to know you just want to know about the oils all right so rosehip oil is loaded with vitamin a and if you are a regular watcher on my channel you know definitely that is loaded with vitamin a vitamin a will help to boost the collagen production in the skin. Vitamin A will help to rejuvenate the cells. It also will help to lift and firm and tighten the skin. When it comes on to vitamin A, you're gonna hear words throwing around like retinoid, retinol. All of those are contribution to the skin collagen. And what is collagen if you're new to the channel? Collagen is what gives the skin the firmness what makes your skin bounce right back, the elastic in the skin. So when you get older, your skin tends to lose the collagen production and that causes wrinkles and fine lines. Now, if you do nothing about it, eventually what is gonna start happening is that you're gonna notice sagging skin. The wrinkles come before the sagging skin. So in order to prevent, we cannot stop the aging process, but we can slow it down. So in order to prevent this, we use stuff on our face to put it back in the skin we use it topically and we use it internally now rosehip oil is not an oil that you're gonna digest this is one oil that you use topically on the skin however there are other oils that if you want to get the full benefit of the vitamin a that you want to take internally you can but we're not here for that today we're only talking about topically how to use this oil topically on the skin i like to use the organic rosehip oil but, you know, 
we could all talk about organic and how it produced and some country you know the different FDA what's this consider um, organic in your country might not be considered organic in my country because of certain standards so I don't normally throw the word organic around on my channel so to each his own so don't because not because it's not organic it don't mean that you mustn't go and use it on the skin so that is a second oil that I personally use and I personally love later on I'm gonna tell you exactly what skin the rose hip oil is good for or maybe I should just do them right off the bat if you have aging skin if you have mature skin if you find that your skin is looking a little dull if you're moving on in age in your 30s your 40s your 50s upward well let's let's break it down if you're in your 30s and your 40s and you have not yet started to see the sign of aging like wrinkles and fine lines on the skin you're gonna use some rosehip oil in your skincare products in your homemade products even if you buy a home a, a facial moisturizer you can tip a little bit of a rosehip oil in there what you're using it for is to prevent your skin from getting wrinkles and fine lines if you're over 40 50 60 like me and you're seeing wrinkles on fine lines you are using the rosehip oil to get rid of because you already have it so you're using it to soften it or to smooth it so that it's not that obvious because let's be real guys sometimes the skin is far gone and I don't know what is gonna bring it back there uh, naturally that is but it could soften it okay when you use it it could get rid of that deepness and make it a little you know a little less obvious so definitely guys if and I as I said perfect for 30s 40s 50s now I'm in my 20s can I use the rosehip oil of course you can use the rosehip oil however there are other oils that you would gravitate more than the rosehip oil which we will get into but definitely guys it's a perfect anti-aging facial oil to use on the skin when it comes on to pricing we have a wide variety of price a wide variety of brands that you can get your rosehip oil from it's listed in the description box below not a sponsored video these are my own purse I have to say it, guys these are my own personal oil so definitely guys um, feel free to buy whatever rosehip oil brand you want just make sure you get it um, in your oil supply not 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 all these oils that I'm featuring today is for everyone one or two of these oils is good for you okay you don't need to have all seven like I do just pick out two that you think is good enough for your skin we're gonna take some questions and then we're gonna continue talking about other facial oils that you know is good for the skin I'm in a good mood today I'm talking about oils and guys you should see this table I wish I could just show you all the oils I'm only gonna talk about several but you can see I'm an oil junkie yes I love facial oil look at that anyway and quick thing guys let me talk about this a little before we move on when you're buying your facial oils okay make sure they are in dark bottles like these okay when they're in dark bottles that is what is protecting the oil also keep your facial oils in a dark area a dark area you don't need to refrigerate your facial oil but a cool temperature is good and a dark place the reason they make dark bottle is to prevent you know it from getting any form of a extra or additional lighting so if you find an oil out there and the bottle is really really light say bye bye to it and go and find one in a dark bottle if you notice I have several different oils on the table here and they're all in dark bottles that is what they use to protect the oils and we could talk about that in another you know another show but definitely guys look out for that I'm just giving you a little little tips let's take some questions and then we're gonna move on hello Lerbert. how are you and happy Sunday to you Maureen Cooper oh I know that name I cannot um, find the rose in oil but I have vitamin C with rose in oil can I crush a tablet and use it in my oil now listen to me I cannot find the rosy but I have vitamin C with rosy oil that's all you need you do not need no tablet in it uh, 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 uh. you are good to go that is a blend of oil and you're gonna find that out there guys you are gonna find a lot of oils that are oil blends on my channel I'm gonna be coming out with an oil 
Chichi Beauty Oil, and it's gonna be a blend of oil. So a blend is good. What you need to know when you're buying these blends is the percentage, okay? So sometimes they might load up an oil, let's say they load it up with olive oil and then they put its vitamin A because they had a little bit of erosive oil in it. So turn your bottle around and look and see what is in it. If you are buying rosehip oil with vitamin E, it's supposed to be rosehip and vitamin E. But the trick is, if you look around, you might notice that they also have olive oil in it, which is a carrier oil, or they might have sweet almond oil in it, which is also a carrier oil. So be mindful of that, okay? It's gonna label vitamin A, or it's gonna label rosehip, but it's diluted. And that is the reason why I tend to buy the pure one which is good, then I can choose to use whatever carrier oil that I feel like using. But definitely, that is good. No tablets in it. And I think you it's, it's perfect as it is, okay? So don't need to put anything. Jackie Mom, how are you doing? I just noticed your name somewhere there. And okay, thanks for the heads up. You are so welcome. Hello, Auntie Lucida. How are you doing? Welcome to the show. And that's my aunt. And if you have not seen the video, with my aunt guys I do have a vlog channel the link is below in the description so click on it and support my vlog channel I also have a new channel which we're gonna be bringing stuff like fashion and stuff we're just push starting it it's Alex Maxi and you might wonder about the name it's a blend of my father my mother and my sister all three abbreviated make up our new channel Alex Maxi we're gonna do fashion and stuff the link is below support it by subscribing also and that is to come all right so we are moving on receive combination skin what oil should i use and we are going there combination skin i suggest that you use a oil that is not too heavy and not too light rose oil fit that picture grapeseed oil fit that picture almond oil fit that picture and when it comes on to a special oil you have another oil that i'm going to talk about but i don't want to drop the gun so i'm going to wait so just wait on and we're going to talk about it let's take some more questions and then we're going to move on to talking about our next oil and bettina vitamin e oil is good for scars yes Good for scars, good for spots and blemishes, good for stretch marks, good for varicose veins. Okay, so definitely, and that is the reason why we mentioned the vitamin E oil at top of the hour because it's good for the skin on a whole. All right, so Sandra um, Shalanya also um, just broke out the blackheads and under my eyes dark marks. So you may have, you know, leave a comment on the top which I didn't see. So you are breaking out with blackheads and under your eyes have a dark mark. The reason why you are breaking out, I'm just assuming, I'm just saying, okay? The reason why I personally think that you might be breaking out with blackheads is the fact that you need to exfoliate the skin. The way blackheads form, guys, is that it has to be whitened first. And how whitened forms is the grease and dirt, the sebum from your skin, the dead skin cell, fill those pores up and cause the skin to look, you know, a little holy, holy, whatever. But it starts out with whitened. If you squeeze a whitened, some whitened is going to come out. And if you rub it like this on your finger, you're going to find that it's all grease. That's the oil mixed with the dead skin cell from your skin. Now, now, if you do nothing to that whitehead and you leave it there, it's going to dry out. It's going to do its course and it's going to dry. And when it's dry, what you're going to get is blackhead. So how do you prevent your skin from getting whitehead to begin with? You exfoliate the skin and you need to exfoliate at least two to three times per week. I cannot preach it enough. If you do nothing for your skin, exfoliate. Now, guys, here is a quick trick. Some of you might not know. You can use brown sugar with a little oil or even with some water to exfoliate the skin. But if you use a wash rug, and we're not going to talk about wash rug, wash cloth, or anything like that. I'm just going to say wash rug, okay? If you use a wash rug on your skin, rub it in circular motion, it will get the job done. All right, so that is the cheapest way to exfoliate your skin. 
when you get in the shower, use your rush rod, circular motion, do it every day. That is also one that you can use every day, skin friendly, and you're going to get rid of the grease and dirt from your skin. All right. However, kick it up a notch and use some of my amazing homemade facial scrub or exfoliator, which is a beautiful name for describing scrubbing your face. So you exfoliate your skin with stuff like rice. You exfoliate your skin with stuff like baking soda. I love it with some good old coconut oil. You exfoliate your skin with stuff like um, oatmeal, especially for those with oily skin, you exfoliate with oatmeal. All you need to do is tip a little water, tip a little oil, and you're good to go. However, if you don't know how to make a good facial scrub, you're at the right place because this channel contains some amazing, and self praise is no praise, but I'm telling you guys, some amazing exfoliator, the pretty name, or amazing facial scrub that you can use on your skin. And in the week or two, you're gonna see really, really beautiful skin. You're gonna see a huge difference to your skin. If your skin is far gone, guys, and you exfoliate your skin with some of the amazing, better yet, I have a dry facial scrub on the channel that you can whip up. It contains oatmeal, brown sugar, and some other amazing stuff. Take that in your bathroom, add a little water to it, and exfoliate your skin really, really good, and then you'll get yourself looking fresh. Fresh is all you need. Get rid of the blackhead. Get rid of the whitehead. Get rid of the grease and dirt from your skin. Now we're talking about oils, so we're going back to oil. Um, Shalapi, can we use yogurt and lemon mask daily? Now listen to me. Yes, you can. However, be very mindful of the amount of lemon juice that you use if you're going to use it daily. So if I recommend use a teaspoon, use two to three drops. But definitely yogurt is good for your skin. A.M., P.M., morning, noon, and night, seven days a week. All right, so we are moving on. I have very dry skin. That is a betony on my chin. Exfoliate the chin betony and use a good oil. A good oil is one we're going to talk about right now. And we're going to talk about Morocco oil if you're on the channel hello Laura how are you I don't know if I miss your information about skin firming tightening oil but do you have any suggestions we just talk about one which is the rosehip oil and I have two or three more that we're gonna talk about and this one also is another one that is gonna help to tighten and firm the skin and this is rosehip I think I list them under my thing marula oil but it's not in order, so I'm just picking up one and talking about it. Now, this is Marula oil. If you're on the chat and you know anything about Marula oil, guys, comment, 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 comment. Now, this oil, I consider it to be a special oil. Now, it has been used for centuries on the skin, but the modern world or the modern generation is just taking on to marula oil. Marula oil contains a lot of vitamin C, which is gonna help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes and hyperpigmentation. It also contains vitamin E, and this is combination is gonna have your skin clear with a natural glow. However, marula oil is also good for mature skin. If you have dry skin, Definitely, guys, this marula oil is good. Now, marula oil, oh, I didn't open the rosy oil for you guys to see what it looks like. Now, let's scoop up a little bit of this marula oil. Now, look at that, if you could see. Very, very light, almost natural looking oil. This is it. This is the marula oil. And no, I don't want to waste the oil. Let me show you something about the marula oil, okay? I hope you can see. I'm just going to rub. You see the amount that I put on my skin. A little goes a long way. And I'm rubbing this marula oil on my skin. And take a look. I should have showed you before. Just take a look at my hands just by rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it. Look at the one that I didn't. And look at this one. You could see that beautiful sheen on my hands, okay? It's like it's lightning in my hand, like just instantly. I, yes, I know my hands don't look really too bad. But this marula oil, and look at that, guys. Look at that. You see that beautiful sheen? You see that glow? That's what I like about the marula oil. I just used some on my cheekbones when I was coming out here. I didn't use no blush on my face today. I used the marula oil. It's a trick. For you who like to wear makeup, let me give you a trick. When you put your makeup on, and if you have some... I'm not straight, guys. A lot of us wear makeup. I'm not straight. You rub that marula oil on your hand, 
can you just dab it like your cheek bone like this? Look at that. Just dab it on and check that out. Yeah, it's like I just unload a ton of um, highlighter on my cheeks. You no, know? just some oils. And that is just good. And some of you might not be familiar with the Marula oil, so definitely research it when you are finished watching the show. But it's one oil, and this also is another oil that is very, very light. About another 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna show you my hands with this Marula oil. It's not greasy at all. It's not gonna leave the skin greasy. It's just gonna leave that natural glow, that softness to the skin. So definitely, guys, another amazing oil. Who can use this Marula oil? Almost anyone can use it. Almost anyone that is looking to brighten and lighten the skin, almost anyone that need a quick dose of vitamin C, a vitamin E on the skin can use the Marula oil. So you can mix this Marula oil with any, get some shea butter. For those of you out there with rough skin, get some shea butter, melt the shea butter, tip a little Marula oil in it and use it at night as an overnight mask. Mmm, mmm, your skin is gonna look very supple and soft up on the rising in the morning. Anti-aging purposes, anyone, this is good too. Anyone can use the Marula oil, a very, very versatile. And what I like to do also with the Marula oil, I like to use it on my hands. And for you ladies out there, if you're looking for a good oil to use underneath the face, I don't wanna say to, you know, cause you know the, uh, one or two drops, keep it moisturized, okay? All right, you know I don't talk about those things anymore on this channel because they give us a warm time just saying the word. So maybe I need to just show it. That's it, okay? So, and massage it with it too, guys. If you massage it with it, mm -hmm. yeah, this, is, this one is very good for that. And some of you need to take care of it. You know if you massage it a lot, it will have to lift and firm and tighten. Yes, definitely, guys. So let's move on. In case you're just joining us, we are talking about oils, best oils for the skin, not only your face and your neck, but your entire body. And just as I just mentioned, oil for those reasons. So we just, we talk about rose oil, we talk about marula oil, we also talk about a vitamin E oil. Now I'm going to pull out the oil that some of you, let's take some questions before I talk about the next oil. Let's hear what you guys have to say. And we have Lerbert oils. I start using thanks to KB, grapeseed, neem, coconut for makeup removal, also lavender, tea tree, and rose. And Lerbert has been with us from basically from day one. Pauline, Nadia introduced me to Marella oil, but she used it in her hair. Yes, I totally forget that. It's good also for your hair and it's also good for your nails. If you have your nails, chipping and breaking, mix a little marula oil with some castor oil and use it on your nails. You can also use it on your lips and if you have split hand, it's an amazing oil for split ends. okay? All right, so let's, hello Juliana, how are you? I miss you, I haven't been around for the past two weeks and I miss you too, I noticed that. I could tell when you guys are not around, like people might be like, oh you know, I. I know, I know my people, all right? All right, so we have Rose Nakawisa, and you have been on the channel before. Chitty, do you have your stuff here? Do we have your stuff here in UK? Example, oil scrub cream. No, they are in the works. They are in the works. And when I come up with my oils, when you see what I have in the works, guys, mm, just support, just support. Angela Richard, how are you? And um, Deborah asked the Chitty, um, you got married? <laughs> That's for another show, girl. Essinati, is it, um, I've, I've, oh, you're still using this name. Is it advisable to use a moisturizer and follow up with oils? Yes. Let me give you right in the middle of our show. Let me tell you how to layer oils on your skin. Now, you can use a facial, I always suggest using a facial toner, guys. And if you don't know how to make a facial toner, there are several on my channel, or you could just go to your store, your beauty supply store, and you get yourself a facial toner. The trick is make sure it doesn't contain any form of alcohol, all right? A quick and easy, natural facial toner is just boiling some green tea, and just put it in a bottle, tip a little bit of a vitamin E oil, or if you have vegetable glycerin, shake it up like, uh, uh, pop, pop, pop. and if you have any form of uh, um, 
oil such as essential oil like a little lavender oil or so if you have acne a little tea tree oil you had it to shake it up wash your face spritz it on let it dry natural facial toner all right so where was I who was I talking to just now um, um I think I missed somebody I was just oh Esty that is um advisable to use more. yes all right so yes what you do you wash your face you spread that toner on and you use a serum and I, I'm stressing it guys yes use a serum even if you're not using a moisturizer I suggest you use a serum if you don't know what serum is go and look at some of my older videos on um, let's start skincare with Chichi Beauty and you'll learn a whole lot about serum and layering serum on your skin all right so you apply the serum and then you can choose to use either a moisturizer or you can choose to use a facial oil if you want to use both you have to use the moisturizer first okay you have to use the moisturizer first it is suggested that you use a oil on top of everything that you're gonna use on your face and the reason for that you might be like but when you put the oil all the way on the top how are you gonna get the benefit of that the reason is that the oil is normally heavier than any moisturizer or cream that you're gonna use on the skin so you layer your skin according to the weight of the products you're using which as a, a toner is normally the lightest and then a serum and then the moisturizer and then you put the oil on top so in the skincare world in the beauty world in the manufacturing world of skincare oils and lotion and serums it is advisable for you to do the toner then you put the serum then you put the moisturizer then you put the oil on top I'm gonna tell you what I do I use a facial toner and I use a facial serum thank you so much Sandra K for supporting the channel now, if you're looking what Sandra K did she just click the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat and donate a $4.99 to the channel if you want to support the channel so we can buy more of these amazing oils you click the dollar sign and you contribute something whatever you feel like contributing five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars a hundred dollars I'm not sure how high you can go but I think you could go up to five hundred dollars all right send me your money but anyway but that's what it is there for all right so that is how you layer your skin with your oil what I do I mix the moisturizer with the oils or sometimes I just keep moisturizer and I just use the oil on my skin but I always try to put the facial toner and the facial serum on if you don't have the serum and you're gonna use just the moisturizer you can mix the oil in the moisturizer or you can just put the moisturizer on trick guys let it dry first when you apply the, the, the toner give it two minutes when you apply the serum give it another two minutes and then you apply the moisturizer you give it another two minutes and then you apply the oil not using moisturizer put your oil on top of the serum okay so that's the way that's the way you layer stuff to each his own however but yes you can you can put us oil on top of a moisturizer Angela restaurant good afternoon I'm from Jamaica my sir Richard Smith and Marola oil we don't have that in Jamaica what I can use can you tell me please especially on my face now when it comes on to Jamaica um, coconut oil mm, what is that sorry about that I hope you guys didn't see that <laughs> Just the thought of coconut oil, <laughs> probably I'm hungry. All right, when it comes out to Jamaica, coconut oil is good. Now, don't get carried away with all these fancy oils, guys. Try to find the oils that you can find in your country, okay? You have some country that marula oil come like dime a dozen. In Jamaica, I know you guys have coconut oil. You also could get olive oil. Um, I think you guys could get, um, I'm not sure about rose oil. You guys probably, um, I'm trying to figure what oils you have, but at, at the end of the show, I might come up with some more that you can get. Now, when you want to buy special oils, you have some of these, um, where they call it again, like um, wholesale places in Jamaica. That is where you could find some of these oils. You can also find some of these oils in the pharmacy. Um, what other place? A drugstore. You can find some of these oils. So definitely, you might think that is not there, but if you go to the pharmacy or the drugstore or the 
the seaman shop like you guys know what i'm saying then you can find these things but just be mindful that they are not mixed with other things all right sandra k all right um lynn lynn moy first time seeing this name lynn moy lee my hand face is full of wrinkle what must i use your hands and face is full of wrinkles that means you need an oil that contains vitamin a a good oil that contains vitamin a is rosehip oil and marula oil can help with your hands and guys i'm going to tell you another oil you can use which is cake oil i have it on the table here if you can get it that is good you can also choose to use papaya seed oil which i have on the table but we're moving on let's talk about sesame seed oil guys and it's recently that i started using sesame seed oil on the channel and the reason why I start using sesame seed oil, because it makes a good anti-aging oil. Now, if you're new to the channel, we're not using the regular sesame seed oil. What we're using is the unroasted sesame seed oil. And you're going to find them in small bottles like these. So it's not the one that you use to make the stir fry, because that is going to leave off a pungent, a really strong smell. The sesame seed oil that is unroasted, the smell that you get from sesame seed, like when you're cooking with it, is because the seed has been roasted. Now, some seeds, when you roast them, it is good because it releases certain kinds of uh, acid. Let's say like the castor oil, which we're going to talk about. It has an acid called, rinse, called rinsonilic acid. When you roast the castor oil, it is released, and that's why most castor oil like the jamaican black castor oil is roasted to release that acid that's gonna you know penetrate the skin and do all those amazing skin not so for the sesame seed for the sesame seed you need the unroasted sesame seed because it doesn't contain that acid that needs to be released now the unroasted sesame seed basically have no fragrance whatsoever no joke it don't really have any fragrance let me take a little bit and i show you something that is what the unroasted sesame seed oil look like. It's also, surprisingly guys, it's also a very light oil. Very, very light oil that is loaded with vitamin E. It also contains a bit of a, a vitamin C. And it also contains B vitamins. And it also contains a bit of a omega-3 fatty acid. Okay, an amazing oil to use on the skin. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip, guys. They have different, different kinds of sesame seed, okay? Now, they have black sesame seed. And black sesame seed has been known for a lot of health benefits. But when you use that black, it's very hard to get, okay? But I'm just, you know, telling you about it in case you run across it somewhere. When you use that black sesame seed oil on your skin, neck, decollete, mmm. Mm, really really good aging skin dull looking skin starting to see the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin you have a lot of stretch marks on your body and you're looking for a good oil that is gonna just get rid of those striation whether it is old stretch mark new bluish blackish you name it some sesame seed oil okay especially if you could get the black one you can't get the black one then you use this one here now guys those rice homemade facials that I share on the channel, if you have sesame seed oil, this is a good oil to use in those homemade rice cream that I make. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go on my channel page and try to find one of those rice facial masks that I make on the channel. If you blend it as I showed with the hot water, put some sesame seed oil in it, use it as an overnight facial mask, it's gonna lift and firm the skin. And I could say it clearly because those are the things that I personally use on my skin to have my skin looking radiant, glowing, and I'm, yes, I'm showing off. Yes, so sesame seed oil. Who can use sesame seed oil? Since it is loaded with vitamin E, it's good across the board, okay? It's good across the board. I am telling you guys that add it to your body lotion and full dose of vitamin E. For those of you with the stretch mark or the striation, had this to some shea butter or had it to some cocoa butter, it's gonna just, you know cocoa butter is good for stretch marks and dark spots and blemishes. Add some sesame seed oil to it, it's gonna kick it up a notch. 
it's gonna make it like double the strength of the 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 the, the cocoa butter so get yourself some sesame seed just make sure it's on roasted sesame seed so what if i use the roasted one that smell like chinese food what is going to happen you're still going to get some benefit of it but i'm sure you don't want to walk around smelling like you know stir fry okay all right so let's take some questions and what whoo how far am i i'm seeing the time going let's talk about one more of my favorite oil i'm not even sure how far i'm on with the oil but i know i need to to finish one two three Four, oh my goodness, we got to, I'm talk, taking too long. The cocaine oil. Some of you know that I endure, endorse, endorse the cocaine oil, and it is for a reason. It is really, really good for the skin. And we're not going to talk about brown hair, especially for some of you who know about, you know, my little runnings with the cocaine oil people. So anyway, cocaine oil loaded with vitamin I. Uh, this is like an all rounder facial oil that contains all the essential vitamins for the skin. But what is in this little thing mostly is vitamin A. This is an oil that you can find in a lot of high end anti aging products because it's loaded with the vitamin A. And what does the vitamin A do to the skin? It smooths the wrinkles and fine lines. It boosts the collagen production in the skin. It also helps to get rid of dark on the eye circles. And not only that, believe it or not, it helps to lift, firm, and tighten. The person that was asking about skin tightening oil, this is your combination right here. The ear you have the cacao oil mixed with some rosehip oil, put it in a little shea butter, add a little bit of a hollow berry gel, blend that up and use it on your skin. There you have your natural homemade skin tightening oil. Yes, it's gonna cost a little bit of a penny because these two oils are more, you know, the cocaine oil is on the little pricier side depending on the brand, but you can have one bottle for way over six months. A little goes a long way. Let me show the cocaine oil. Looking for vitamin A, mature skin. Perfect anti-aging oil. The cacao oil, here it comes, guys, contain at least five times the amount of vitamin A than the rosehip oil. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this. So if you have to choose, which I hope you don't have to, and you have to get either or either for mature skin, wrinkled skin, aging skin, the cacao oil, because you do have more vitamin A than the rosehip oil, all right? And the cacao oil is also another light oil, but you do have a nicer, you know, a little color right there. You can see it right there. That is what the cacao oil look like. And I've been using so much oil on my skin, guys. But anyway, let's just drop the cacao oil on the skin. Now, the cacao oil also is a little bit heavier than the marula oil. It's a little bit heavier than the marula oil. Therefore, if you have dry skin, along with wrinkles on the skin along with dull looking skin the cacao oil will do the job for you and take a look you can clearly see when i was blending those other oils just disappear in the skin you notice that the cacao oil is taking a little longer because it's heavier meaning that you only need one drop of the cacao oil i like to warm the cacao oil in my hands and it's very easy to warm eyes guys you know what your body temperature is right and then you put it in your hand and you just do this you're not hurting the oils you're not hurting the vitamins you're not hurting the antioxidants what you're doing you're making them ready for your skin so you warm it in your skin like this and the, on your hands and then you just press it on the skin just press it on the skin and this is how i apply my oils guys i don't like <clears throat> i like to just press it in the skin and if you watch my channel you know that's what i do i just press it on it's like i'm just filling up those pores on the skin definitely guys cocaine oil and i'm bathing in oil today but it's all good any question about the cocaine oil if you have used the cocaine oil guys comment comment you can they have a wide variety of prices so when you get a just make sure you said 100% pure cacao oil. It doesn't matter. Sometimes you pick up cacao oil and it's all about the brand, okay? So make sure you just say 100% pure cacao oil and you're good to go. Because you're going to have some brands that you're going to find a small bottle for like $38 and you might find another brand $10. 
or even 799. What you need to look for is that it's a hundred percent pure cocoa oil. Okay. All right. So with that out of the way, let's move on. And I'm going to talk about one of my. They are all my favorite, to be honest, but one that I love, 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 because I'm not going to not talk about it. And this is um, papaya seed oil. Um, Auntie, I do you remove the live chat from the show when it's over? Someone asks, no, 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 no. When the show is over, if you want to go back and watch the show, Click on my face or go on my channel page. Just go on Chichi Beauty or find a video, click on it. Click on my face and it's going to take you to the channel page. Once you get on the channel page, just go on the Sunday Chit Chat. It's in a playlist. You're going to see it. And all the Sunday Chit Chat is in a playlist. So go on playlist, look for Sunday Chit Chat, and you're going to find all the videos on the there so you could watch them over. Okay? It's going to be on the channel like about... 20 30 minutes after the show is over you can search for it but the easiest way to find it is to go on the playlist on the chichi beauty channel um sunday chit chat and you're gonna see all the past shows that we have all right um oh, oh genie blessing please jamaican black castor oil don't really know how to make use of it all right so we're gonna talk about papaya seed the castor oil is right here. The Jamaican black castor oil is right here. We are also going to talk a little bit about Bachi. It's not on the list for the seven, but it's another amazing oil. Older people, <laughs> don't take offense when I say that I'm older too, but for all my 50s and above, Bachi oil. And if you want to know more about this Bachi oil, go on my channel. Go on there, let's talk skincare. We did an entire show talking about the Bachi oil. I might not get to it, but I just want to mention it. And if you use it and you know about it, comment. If you want me to do another show about it, let me know. But on the um, let's talk skincare with Chichi Beauty, you're going to find a whole information about the Bachi oil. This is also a new oil that I'm recently using. I cannot swear by it as yet. Okay, it's aloe vera oil, so I don't know much about it. I've been using it. I'm not like feeling it like that as yet, but I will let you know. So that's another oil that is there. So now we're going to talk about the other oils that we have to make up the seven, two, three, four. And now we are at papaya seed. Let's do this real quick. Because if you watch a lot, you know the papaya seed loaded with vitamin A. However, the cacao oil and the bachi oil have more vitamin A than the papaya seed but what the papaya seed oil does it does it smooth the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin it also helps to boost the collagen production in the skin one thing that i like guys if you have large pores on the skin if you have oily skin this is an oil that is good for your skin the papaya seed oil it helps to shrink those large pores once you exfoliate the skin and you know clean it up really nice use the papaya seed oil it's kind of new and I always give credit to Rita Holmes for introducing me to the papaya seed oil because you know I love papaya seed on papaya and a whole so much so the oil didn't fail me at all love it it's really really work I like to mix it however with a little bit of the rosehip oil and I use them together as a facial oil if you want to see some of my oil blend they're on my channel page and I have a folder for them under the playlist best of chichi beauty oil blend click on that and you're gonna see how I mix all these oils together to create special facial moisturizer but guys the papaya seed oil is another amazing oil there's another oil that we have with is which is the organ oil and I chose this one because it's good for your hair your nails everywhere on your body okay you have splitting you have bald spot you have dry skin you have you know um sagging skin you have dry knees and elbows definitely the organ oil okay now when it comes on to the organ oil organ oil is you know depending on the brand that you're gonna buy can also be a little pricey but it is worth the splurge and i suggest for people who don't start to see the sign of aging 
you can choose to use this on your skin because you're not only going to use it on your skin but you're going to use it on your hair on your nails if you're making a, a, a concussion to grow your eyebrows you mix the argan oil with the um, Jamaican black castor oil it's gonna have to grow your brows if you have pin in here it's gonna have to you know get it a little bouncy just massage it on the scalp and a good thing to mix this in guys believe it or not is to put it in a little bit of a vaseline if you have crack eels elbows and knees well your knees not going to be cracked but you know what i'm talking about your crack eel or dry foot that is then you mix this with some vaseline and you use it on your feet if you can wear a socks push it in a socks and guess what within a week or two your foot is looking slippers ready if you know what i mean all right so um pauline see my hair loves organ oil see what i mean so definitely um lucy treat a number of skin condition treat acne ear skin infection improve wound healing smooth um atopic dermatitis and has anti-aging effect all right thank you for that lucy now guys I don't want to leave without the Jamaican black castor oil. All right. Now, a lot of you might have known about Jamaican black castor oil for other reasons. Years ago, when they talk about castor oil, especially the Jamaican black castor oil, people used to only associate it with helping to relieve um, fibroid. However, the castor oil get a bad rap because of the smell or the scent of it, okay? When you smell this thing, mmm, don't smell good at all, right? If you love the smell of castor oil, then something, anyway, yeah, so don't smell good at all. A little history about this. When we were growing up, we used to get about a, a teaspoon, I think, of this thing here. Taste is so bad. When you get a teaspoon of this in your mouth, you run right around the house like, yeah, we're from the country. We have house we could run around in the islands, the beautiful island of Jamaica. And run around the house because we got to swallow it, but it tastes so bad. <laughs> it was like the worst thing for me. Like this, the worst oil that I've ever came across. But guess what? As soon as I get older and I start to read and I start to know more about this amazing oil, then I know that what they were doing was benefiting us internally, and this is amazing to use externally. I have a video, a full length video, where I show you how to use the castor oil to help to ease the fibroid, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about the face and a whole. So if you do not know how to use this, the little Easter I gave earlier on the show about the rinsonelic acid, this is the oil that you got to roast to release that rinsonelic acid. And that rinsonelic acid, you can research it when you're done of the many benefits that it has to the skin. Hydrate the skin, smooth the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, boost the collagen production in the skin, clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. But not only that, when it comes on to scars and blemishes and stuff like that, the castor oil is going to do a number for you. Now, another thing about the castor oil is that color is so rich this one is extremely rich some of you might be wondering i don't have the jamaican black castor oil can i use the other castor oil which is like the white yes you can use whichever i'm biased yes i'm jamaican this is the one i know this is the one that i like and look at this in spite of the castor oil it's so thick and so rich guys it will not clog the pores and a lot of you don't know that the castor oil will not clog the pores it is thick like the 28,000 IU vitamin E but when you apply it, let me find a dry spot on my skin when you apply this castor oil on your skin and you warm it yes this is one that I really like to warm before and you apply it to the skin it's gonna seep deep into the pores and it's not going to leave the skin greasy a heavy oil that does not leave the skin greasy how to use directly on your face also you can tip a little bit of this in your homemade facial stuff you can use a little bit in your moisturizer you can rub it directly on the skin you have stretch marks varicose veins standing up right there spider veins massages on it directly on the skin it's gonna help for those of you with dark neck this is the oil that you use after you exfoliate your neck 
use the castor oil on the neck and it's going to help to lighten and brighten the skin i use castor oil a lot when it comes on to hair bald spot thin in here um edges eyebrows eyelashes you name it down there you want it to grow put some down there i'm joking but yes it definitely will grow <laughs> whatever wherever on your body that you're looking to grow your hair definitely use the castor oil mix some castor oil with some coconut oil and use it on your hair if you find that your hair is dry and thinning also guys mix this castor oil with some essential oil and use it just as you step out of the shower rub it all over your body and you're gonna see how soft and supple mix some castor oil with some vaseline guys use it to rub your feet your knees and your elbows okay so definitely use it up Versatile for you women out there make it your best oil. You have all the stretch marks from the stretching You have the you know in massaging. Yes, and if you want it to have a nice fragrance Get a good essential oil that you personally like some orange essential oil some lavender essential oil They have a lot of different kinds of essential oil these days grapefruit essential oil Whatever tip a little bit mix it up cut back on the fragrance from the roasting of the castor oil and use it on your skin so there you have it guys i gave you seven a little more than seven but seven amazing oils that are good for your skin so we just talked about the castor oil who can use castor oil on the skin anyone can use castor oil on the skin if you have oily skin you are wondering i have oily skin i cannot use oil on my skin very very wrong very 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 wrong oily skin people you need to use oil on the skin because what the oil that you're going to put on the skin is going to do is going to neutralize that oil that your skin is already producing and slow down the oil process on your skin so definitely use oil on your skin however try to use lighter oil like grapeseed oil have a oh all those oils i didn't talk about today guys those are like the scent those are like the the foundation oil that you can mix any of these oil that I talk about today can be mixed with a carrier oil to stretch it out, but you're still going to get the good benefit from it. You can mix vitamin E oil with coconut oil. You can mix vitamin E oil with avocado oil. Avocado oil is an oil, is an oil in a class by itself, and you buy the one that you use to cook. It contains the electrolytes, and nowadays, guys, they are turn into avocado oil because they realize that it contains the three electrolytes which will potassium um sodium and whatever one i don't remember i'm rushing so that is remind me if you're watching that is gonna help to smooth the wrinkles and fine lines so they're now using the avocado oil in some amazing high-end products i won't drop names but definitely guys mix all of these oils any of these oil with the carrier oil Almond oil is a carrier oil. Olive oil is a carrier oil. Um, um, coconut oil is a carrier oil. Um, what did I miss? What grapeseed oil is a carrier oil. So you can use two tablespoons of carrier oil to one to two drops of any of these oils. Let's do the recap. We do vitamin E oil. We do morella oil, and I call these oil the special oils. The carrier oils I call just like the everyday oil. So we have the vitamin E oil. We did the marula oil. We also did the rosehip oil loaded with vitamin A. We did the kake oil, the two oils that have the strongest amount of vitamin A for aging skin, for dry skin. And when it comes on to younger skin, you have the marula and you have the vitamin E. We also have the papaya seed that can use right across the board. We have the argan oil that can use right across the board. And we have the very one and only um, Jamaican black castor oil. If you want to know where to get the Jamaican black castor oil, the link is below. As a matter of fact, I think all these oil is listed below where you could find them. And guys, any question you have about oils, let's do that before I sign out. The Bachi oil, guys, please research it for yourself. And the aloe vera oil, anyone on the chat using aloe vera oil, Please let me know and tell me what you think about the aloe vera oil. I'm just getting into it and I like to be honest. So I'm not going to come on here and ramp and rave about it because I just started using the aloe vera oil. So 
Maybe another month or two or three months down the line, I'll come back and tell you how I feel about the aloe vera oil. But these oils that I picked out today are the oils that I use a lot personally for myself, and I do share some of them in videos with you guys. We're gonna take some question and we're gonna move on. If you're just joining, you like the topic today, to support the channel, you give the video a thumbs up. You also comment because commenting also show me that you're enjoying it and it also help the live chat itself when it comes on to the rating. Also guys, when you watch this video, especially the live chat, watch the commercial. That's what we use to support the channel, okay? So, and tell your friends and your family about, you know, the channel and try the recipes. When you try them, come back and leave another comment. So, Karen, I'm getting people from wearing my mask. What, when I go out, what can I do to treat them quickly? Are you wearing your mask? I know you're not, but are you wearing your mask out? <laughs> I know you're not. Uh, you're just asking. All right, so I'm getting pimples from wearing my mask when I go out. What can I do to treat them? If you're getting pimples any at all, the honest truth is that the pores are clogged. That is what is causing the pimples. The pores are clogged. So you got to step up on the exfoliating game. Cut down back and the cut on the mask. Use the mask probably two times per week and step up on the exfoliating. Okay, and you can use a water-based exfoliator. You can use some, I said sugar or some blended rice, and you use a little bit of like of an orange juice or a lemon juice in it instead of the oil and see what happens. All right, so Felisa Thompson, I from Bahamas. And how are you guys doing out there in Bahamas? You guys had a rough last year, and I do hope this year is a little better. You know what I mean for you guys. Okay, so um, Naomi, how are you? That's Opoko. Welcome, welcome. And um, Rosacea, um, what kind of oil? Please, tea tree oil. Tea tree oil with lavender essential oil. Mix those two together and use it. You can also choose to tip the tea tree oil and the lavender essential oil in a carrier oil, like some grapeseed oil. And we have some other oil, like Jerome, Jer Jeroian, Jeroian oils and stuff like that that I don't talk about that is good for um, eczema and those kind of things, okay? All right, Pat Pat, thank you, you're welcome. Um, Go ahead, guys. If you have questions, this is the time that you ask your question. Hello, Tarenji. How are you? I'm loving the show. I broke out also on my cheeks after wearing my mask, so I started to exfoliate. You know, you're always here, so you know exactly what to do. Victorine, um, Chichi, I am on my I'm on my 50 above and i have a very dry skin what can i use on my face as a mask and oil 50 those rice masks that i'm making and sharing those are the ones that you need to try when it comes down to fruit papaya and avocado so any mask that contain papaya and avocado is good for your skin also you can choose to use a bit of a green tea on the skin if you have green tea or matcha powder all those masks and facial remedies that i make with green tea and um, papaya avocado any of those is good for your skin so once i put like anti-aging you know what i mean those are good so try some of those on your skin gotta do it often though you gotta do it often all right so um jackie mom how are you oh i was saying if you're just joining we were talking about facial oils and we go through a list of facial oils we share them we tell you exactly how to use them on the skin if you like the chat today give the video a thumbs up to show your support that way we know that you know we could continue to do the show also comment that's showing your support for the channel just ask question if you're new comment and let us know you're new so we could give you your shout out um laura venus frankincense oil yes frankincense oil is another oil that i'm recently getting into i don't use a lot of frankincense oil on my show because you know a lot of people use frankincense oil for different purposes and then i don't want it to be too controversial so i don't use it but it's another good oil to use especially if you have eczema and these things on your skin you can use the frankincense oil all right so um over oil yes i see i didn't even bring that on you see what i mean you guys know your oil over oil is also good and i think i have it somewhere here that i didn't bring it over i just pick out some seven off if i was to bring out all the oils we would do a two-hour show today 
but definitely guys these that I mentioned and any other oils that you have that you're using comment so that I could talk a little bit about it I know my time is up I'm a little over time but I'm seeing you here and I want to take it a little longer by answering some of the questions um Gloria um but 10 T E N G but 10 or boy 10 I think I think I messed that up all right give me your full items on how to treat facial problems okay what you need to do everyone is different I cannot just tell you a recipe to treat you know your facial problem because my problem is not your problem and your problem is not their problem you got to know your skin so you first gotta need to know what is your skin type what are the problems that you're having on your skin that you'd like to take care of thank you so much Magdalene for supporting our channel today if you want to support the channel guys you click on that little dollar sign at the bottom and show some love to the channel all right so that is the first step to taking care of your skin know your skin type know the issues you're having whether you're seeing wrinkles and fine lines whether you are having blackhead whether you're noticing that your skin is dry, whether you're looking for something to get rid of dark under eye circles, once you know what is going on, then I might be able to suggest, not to treat, but to suggest something that you could try. Ivan Cooper, how are you? Happy Sunday to you. Can the oil mentioned be used daily? Yes, you can use any of these oil daily. One oil I didn't talk about is vitamin C. And I didn't talk about vitamin C because vitamin C is in a class by itself that is the only oil that I would suggest you use at night because when you go out in the Sun with the vitamin C it's you know cause a reaction it could also dark near your skin so but that's another story but all these oils that I talk about today we talk about the cocoa oil we talk about marula oil we talk about vitamin E oil we talk about sesame seed oil we also talk about papaya seed oil we also talk about rosin oil and we talk about castor oil all these oil can be used on your skin a.m. and p.m. the trick is pack it on at night in the daytime you go a little lighter okay all right so moving on um, freestyle return which is the best oil for brightening the skin anything with vitamin C is gonna help to brighten the skin my favorite however is the papaya seed oil if you're looking to brighten and lighten that skin the papaya seed and also the natural papaya use a facial mask with that I make on this channel using fresh papaya on the skin mix it with some yogurt and if you're all game and you want it to work like really really fast keep a little bit of a turmeric powder in it instant result and that's no joke I'm not even gonna blink when I give you that recipe try it. challenge me use it 30 minutes feed it on your skin and instantly you're gonna see that natural glow use it on a regular and you're on your way to clear skin all right so papaya seed is my a favorite for clearing the skin of spots and blemishes all right so we are moving on um, Cynthia um, it's good for scar tissue aloe vera oil mixed with castor oil or use alone all right so someone is using the aloe vera oil and it's good for scar not only that you all know that well scars spots and blemishes acne scars you name it that is what the fresh aloe vera and also the aloe vera oil is for the process of the aloe vera oil is something that I need to you know look into a little more because when I come and I talk about these oils I like to really really know the grassroots of it so as I said new to me but I'm working on it okay all right um Pamela, um, I teach you what oil can I use if I have large pores? And we just mentioned it is the, the organ oil. Okay, the organ oil is good for large pores, and we also have the castor oil. Now, let me give you a quick recipe for large pores. You know, you need to exfoliate your skin, right? Now, once you exfoliate the skin, you're going to use any form of a clay mask that is going to be good. Be help with large pores any form of a fuller's earth and I have several of these recipes on my channel when you are done you could just put large pores or put pores to beauty and those videos will pop up I have some amazing recipe and how do I know they're amazing because people email me every day to say I use this one and it works that one and it works so that is why I'm giving you the ones that normally come on the top but for large pores you really need to exfoliate how do you get large pores let me tell you really really quick why your pores expand 
they expand because they're loaded with dirt and grease and dead skin cells from your skin okay the body the skin shed the biggest organ in the body it do sheds and all of that shedding that it does it can get into the pores and when it gets into the pores it open them so what you need to do we cannot get rid of large pores we can shrink the pores because the entire skin is all pores so what you do exfoliate a bit okay you need to do it two to three times a week and once you start exfoliating your skin you're going to notice that the pores are going to start to shrink not only that the blackheads and the acne and all of that is going to slowly start to diminish so cleanse your face really really well and then you use a light oil on the skin a good carrier oil is some grapeseed oil and you can mix it depending on your age i'm not sure of your age you can choose an oil that is suitable for your skin type and your age whether you're looking to tighten firm the skin or you're looking to brighten lighten the skin you use vitamin a for wrinkles and fine lines and you use vitamin c and vitamin e oil for just preventing things okay all right so we are moving on rose gallus i like her class thank you so much for that and we have something i can pronounce d h a d h d h f d f I have very dry skin. Which oil can I use? What are your age? Anyway, for dry skin, a heavier oil is good for dry skin. Coconut oil is good for dry skin. If you're trying to use one of these oils, all of these oils that I mentioned can be used for dry skin because they nourish the skin. So in spite of the fact that some of them are lighter oils, they still hydrate the skin. So definitely use any of these carrier oils olive oil is good for dry skin i mentioned coconut oil and another oil for dry skin is the argan oil tip this argan oil in your body lotion and use it all over your skin it's going to help with dry skin a quick tip if you have dry skin is to always moisturize your skin while it is wet for dry skin people try to use a facial toner at all times on your face after you spread your facial toner on you are one set of people that do not need to wait for the toner to dry. Go ahead and apply the serum or the moisturizer right after the toner, and that is going to help to seal that moisture in the skin. The reason why for dry skin people you need a heavier oil, a heavier oil is going to block the moisture from escaping from your skin. And when it's blocked, you know something, guys? I'm going to tell you something, and some of you are going to be like, whoa, you know. But you see that good Vaseline? If you have Vaseline and you have dry skin, you mix that Vaseline with some vitamin E oil or any of these special oil and you use it on your skin at night. I'm suggesting night only. Upon arising in the morning, you rinse that off. Your skin is going to feel soft and supple and hydrated because it's such an heavy oil that is going to keep your moisture that normally escape and cause your skin to be dry is going to keep it in okay so you use it to lock that moisture in the skin so definitely every oil olive oil coconut oil organ oil and even the good old castor oil okay all right so let's take some more question um joyce elaine um hello beautiful how are you doing good job love thank you so much for that freestyle restart how can i register to join your class you're right here no need to register but if you want to kick it up a notch and you really want to be a part of this channel you can join our membership click on the join tag below and you're gonna see a wide variety of tiers choose one it's a monthly occurrence starting at 199 now for those members guys all of you guys guess what happened you know we have been keeping up with the membership like the videos and stuff like that I know most of you understand with all of what is going on but as of next week, you know, places are opening and stuff like that. We're going to try to get these back into, you know, dealing with the membership, the videos and all of like that. So, guys, if you have not yet become a member, click on the join button. When you become a member, you get free videos. Well, not free videos, videos that people don't see. You get those, you know, choose topic for the show. You get discount on your merchandise. You also get to make comments and you know see a little bit more of my private life and stuff that was the membership is all about and we are going to start to you know get back into the swing of things all right deborah asked it um chichi what you cooking today okay you know the show is ending when someone is asking about cooking all right so today i am not gonna cook 
All right, so I'm not going to cook today, and I'm, I have a good reason why I'm not cooking today. I'm not cooking today because I have leftover from yesterday, which is some spaghetti and some vegan meatball, which tastes really, really good. But tomorrow, we're going to do a little quarantine barbecue in the backyard, okay? Quarantine barbecue. I'm going to be trying some, some burgers on the grill and some members of the household is going to be throwing some ribs on the grill and they're going to throw some chicken on the grill i'm going to be in my little corner with my little vegan burgers and hot dog but yeah we're going to have a little thing in the backyard and that's another reason why i don't feel like cooking today because i don't want that amount of food tomorrow is memorial day if you're here in america happy memorial day you know quarantine and do something fun so no cooking for me today but what is it you guys are cooking today Go ahead, and Joe's Jamaican out there. Let me hear about the fried fish and the rice and peas and the steamed fish and okra and all that good. Lucy, what is it you're cooking today? So guys, the show is over as you can tell. Someone take me out by asking about the cooking. So guys, I hope you learned something today. And if you have further questions, if you want me to do more show, if you want me to do, yeah, more shows and um, oils and stuff like that, comment and we could get deeper and also if you want to learn more about the batchy oil you can you know comment or go and look for the let's start skincare video so you could learn more now let me see about the food that is going on here now freestyle what do you think about egyptian magic oil i really don't know about it so that's one i would have to go and research okay all right so um happy memorial day jackie mom um joyce elaine what about what should i do because i I abuse oil, oil free products. Are you saying? Um, you can use oil on your skin if you have oily skin. I'm not sure if that's what you're asking, but definitely you can uh, make up forever yummy. Okay, so Lucy is making chicken taco. I so can't wait for Lucy to make me something. Some, you know, I know Lucy's son is gonna cook me some vegan food soon. All right, I was gonna. Oh, Lucy, I was going to be seeing you this year, you know, that was going to be a surprise because I was going to be out there for a whole week. But unfortunately, we're going nowhere this year. Hopefully next year, guys. Hopefully next year. I was also going to see Keisha Rowe this year too. But anyway, we all know what is going on. So, um, Julia, love today's show. Thank you so much. L um, Rita, yummy. All right. That's for Lucy. Justin, how much I did because I have, uh, I have to use oil-free products. All right. So, if you have to use oil-free products on your skin, go ahead. Use oil-free products. However, I don't know what is going on with your skin why you have to be oil-free products. But don't stray. If it's a reason, continue to use your oil-free products. But vegetable glycerin is also a good semi oil free products that you can use on your skin i really would have to know what is going on oh so keisha is here i didn't even know you was on the chat keisha i guess you just they're lazy to comment this week all right mahk how are you lucy busy day i've been questioning several times can you answer please i need a good serum for a dry skin a good okay do you want email me for that if you want a good a serum if not try one of my serum that i made with rice try one of the rice serum or there's a lot of products out there on the market that contains rice some of them is very very pricey good special serum and i'm thinking about a brand in mind that you can try you can research it and use it on your skin if not try any of my rice serum look at me sweating today it's very hot right here. I think the heat is coming from all these lights that I am under. All right, so um, Celine is having seafood dinner. I used to love me some seafood, like, ooh, good, good steamed fish. Yes, guys, I'm Jamaican, so I like to talk about steamed fish. But my favorite fish used to be um, sea bass. I love a good chunk of sea bass, and you know, they just like just sear it and just put some, you know, basil and stuff on it and a nice little sauce. I love that and I love some salmon. But I don't, you know, eat those things anymore, but never say never. But if I'm to go back to eating meat, it would be definitely starting with fish. That's the only thing if I said I miss anything, it would be fish. All right, so moving on. Kingdom Kid, what do I use to remove facial hair naturally? Um, turmeric powder and brown sugar. 
fix in a face, put it there and plum, plug it off, and it's good to go. I have several videos on it. I use turmeric uh, powder, mix in a paste for my facial hair. What it does, it causes the hairs to take longer to grow back. That's what works for me. So you can try that or try one of my recipes on the channel. All right, so Celine bought sesame oil and sweet almond oil. Okay, perfect, perfect. Freestyle, what should I use for my pimples? Exfoliate, 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 and that is going to get rid of the pimple, but definitely put a little bit of a tea tree oil. Any oil that contains antibacterial properties is going to be good for pimples, and most of those you're going to find in essential oil like lavender oil and the tea tree oil, and also argan oil, um, oregano, I should say, sorry. Oregano oil is a very, very, very good oil to have, guys. Oregano oil is antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and with everything that is going on now, if you don't have, like, hand sanitizer, one oil that is going to ward off all of these Bacteria is oregano oil, so that's another oil to have in your collection. All right, so we are moving on. Okay, Bar, what do I use? I have oily skin. You're going to use a light oil on the skin, such as the morella oil is very light, the papaya seed oil is light, and you can use a carrier oil like the grapeseed oil. All right, so my time is up, guys. I know I go over time this week, but it was a good show, and I like talking about oils. Um, Cindy John, what oil good for eczema? Lavender oil mixed with some tea tree oil. You can also add a little bit of that frankincense oil someone mentioned earlier on the show. All right, so we have Deborah Austin. Love you, Gigi. Have a great week. Same to you. And guys, support the channel by watching the weekly videos. Every day we post a video. We mix, we match ingredients. So you don't have to try all of the remedies, but you can support the channel by watching all of the videos okay and also comment and share and if you see one that you like that you have the ingredient then you go ahead and you try it because as i we deal with a wide variety of people this is worldwide so not everything is going to be good for everyone but you definitely will find something that is good for your skin and um Darkas, what can I use to remove my skin tag? You can use apple cider vinegar, and I like to mix the apple cider vinegar with a little bit of that in, inner part of the banana peel, chop it up, make it into a paste, rub it on at night, and you're on your way to getting rid of your skin tag. El, um, Elisa, how to remove skin tag? Okay, small mold, I just perfect, so that goes. So, um, she can use charcoal soap for pimples. Charcoal is good. I made a few videos using charcoal. Well, not a lot, but maybe because of my skin color. And when you put like charcoal on your face, it kind of, you know, fluctuates the algorithm thinking that you're, you know. So I don't use a lot of charcoal. But if you guys want me to make charcoal remedies, I can. I do have charcoal. I use it on my skin. It's good for eczema also. So definitely, guys, comment if you want some charcoal recipe. I definitely will give it to you. My time is up, guys. Have a wonderful week. Take care of you. You know, do something fun for yourself. Happy Memorial Day to everyone that celebrate Memorial Memorial Day. I'm Jill Duchess. How are you? Welcome, even though we're leaving. And if I didn't call your name or I didn't um, comment on your um, comment, that because it's so much and I cannot answer all, nor do I see all the comments in my view. But, you know, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here supporting the channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Go and watch the videos that were posted this week that you missed. Also, we have community, guys. Every day I select special videos and I post them in community. So you might, you know, miss a video or a topic that you might be interested in. It's going to be on community. If you watch on your phone and you go on the channel page, you're going to see the word community. If you click on it, that is where we post and that is where we also, you know, share information with the members of the channel. So support the channel by going to the community. Also guys, my Instagram, underscore Chichi is the tag. It's also listed below. We're on our way to 10,000, normally don't post, but now we're starting to post over there and we're gonna get very, very active over
over on Instagram. What we're going to be doing on Instagram is to post very, very short videos. So support me by, you know, following me on Instagram. I'm also on Snapchat and I'm also on Facebook. Okay, guys, I love you guys. Be good to yourself and have a great week. Sh um, Shalapi, goodbye. Lucy, Alexa, Karen, Magdalene, Keisha, Makeup Forever, Lucy, um, Rita, and Jason, and everyone else that is on the chat watching. Bye, guys. If you have not yet thumbs the video, this is the time to thumbs up before you go. So look below. You're going to see the little thumbs up. Just click on it to show your support to the channel. Bye, guys. Be good. Ta-ta. Other than that, I'm going to be here talking all evening long.